Hello, I'm Charles Moffat, and welcome to another unboxing video. Except today I've decided to take it easy, and I have pre-cut the package, so I don't have to do that silly stuff where I open it with like some silly object from around the house or backyard. Yeah, that's my backyard. Anyway, uh, let's open this up and see what's inside there. I already know what's inside. It is my new novel. It is a Pulp Fiction novel, although it is a big on the biggie side. It is 339 pages long. It's just, it's, it, it, it's very long. All right. Now, this particular one is kind of like a new thing for me because it's a vigilante slash superhero story as far as that goes. Very different from what I usually do, which is I uh, usually write uh, fantasy. But this is part of a series of books that I've been writing. Let me show you. Well, first, let's get rid of this thing. Shh, don't need that no more. All right, so we got this one. Now, you'll notice here the... Um, the cover is cropped a little funny. I'm gonna have to fix that in future versions. This is like the very first copy uh, that's come out. Um, the book only came out two days ago. Anyway, so what it should normally look like is like these ones where it's like the corners are like, you know, squared when white, like that, okay? So these are actually all in the same series of books. This one happens in 1955, all right? This one happens in 2018. This one happens in 2019. And then this one is the alternative version of 2020. And I know some of you really didn't like that year. Well, read this book and see what could have happened instead. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just gonna read the back here. Uh, so Yasmina is an immigrant who works at her father's boxing gym. When the city of Toronto is targeted by a group of white nationalists who take hostages inside the CN Tower and conduct terrorist attacks across the city, she ends up being at the right place at the right time. Becoming a vigilante was never her plan, but as the te terrorists continue to conduct attacks and assassinations, she ends up in a fight for survival and has only her boxing skills to help her and her family survive. And it's a coming-of-age story of a would-be vigilante. So this is technically a young adult vigilante superhero story set, shall we say, during the apocalypse. Okay? So at the beginning of the book, the apocalypse has not yet happened. But yeah, that's... And it's, it's very much in the vein of... Like, if, if, you like, if you like watching, like, Rocky or Rocky IV... Rocky Four was definitely influenced with this one. And also Red Dawn, uh, The Hunger Games. Um, there's another other, you know, influences that I can think of in terms of, like, uh, plots uh, of movies that uh, influence the plot of this. But I had fun writing this back in uh, 2019 and uh, 2020. And... Honestly, like, when I finished it in 2020, I was like, you know, this is a alternate version of what the events of 2020. So, and I didn't intend it to, to end up being that. It basically became that uh, because I originally decided to, like, oh, I'm going to set it at, like, the start of the book at, like, January 2020. And then all this stuff ended up happening in the real 2020. And I was like, oh okay, I guess this is now alternative history. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, if you like alternative history and boxing and vigilante stories and Batman or... Oh yes, what, what was that Bruce Willis movie? Um, Unbreakable. That's that's another influence for this one. Okay. Now, there's other books in the series, however, like this one, which has dragons and magic in it. And this one, which also has dragons and magic in it. And this one, where the main character goes around killing Nazis. Honestly, there's a bit of a theme there, because kind of like the main bad guys in all four books are Nazis, or dragons. But yeah, there's, you know, there's a theme there. But if you want to read them, these ones are, you know, a bit thinner and comparably cheaper, whereas this one is gigantic and uh, 
you know, a bit more expensive. But if you want to read all of them, then yeah, go ahead and buy the whole series. Uh, I just need to go fix the corners. If you don't care about that, just order the book right away. But I, I'm going to go fix the corners to these so that uh, it's uh, formatted the way I want it to be. Uh, this should be a bit smaller here. It's going to shrink that down and make the white space bigger. I'm going to have to do that. Anyway, happy reading, and uh, go out and buy some of my books. Uh, you can find them on Amazon.com backslash author backslash Moffat. Moffat. Okay, bye-bye now.